Hello and welcome to First Coast Living. I'm Jordan Wilkerson. I know a lot of you are busy prepping for the holidays. Stick with us through the whole hour because we're going to give you some ideas to hopefully make things a little easier for you. And even though you're super busy, it's important to listen to your body. Achy joints are common, but they are things. There are things that we can do to deal with the pain when it's severe. So earlier I caught up with an orthopedic surgeon to share more on a non opioid approach to managing the pain. Uh, thanks for having me. A couple of trends are orthopedic surgeons are seeing more and more patients each year with arthritis. We're seeing younger patients that are presenting a little bit earlier with arthritis and orthopedic surgeons as a group are performing as, uh, as many as several hundred thousand knee replacements a year to help treat this pain. And how is this impacting uh, their daily lives, people who are dealing with this? So as you know, as the survey suggests, um, Osteoarthritis, especially severe osteoarthritis, can be debilitating, and it affects all aspects of patients' lives. It affects their ability to do the activities they'd like to do in, in um, exercise or outdoor activities in general. It impacts their work. Um, it impacts uh, their social calendar. People stop going to the movies because of something known as the movie theater sign. They just can't sit there comfortably for an hour and a half or two hours. It's affecting their sleep, and now it's affecting their mental health. So how have people dealing with this traditionally managed their pain and what treatment options are available? So historically, people manage their symptoms from osteoarthritis by reducing the, act, the activities that you know, aggravate their symptoms. So they're not hiking or golfing or playing tennis as much anymore. Many of them take anti-inflammatory medications like naproxen or ibuprofen or meloxicam, and that's a good... Um, short-term relief. You don't want to be on those medicines too long because of long-term side effects. Some patients even turn to opioid medications or narcotics, and that can work pretty well for the pain in the short term, but long-term it leads to tolerance and dependency. And as you know, we're in an opioid epidemic. Yes. Uh, and so what is your non-opioid approach and how is it different? And so Iovera is a procedure that we do on an outpatient basis, either in a, in a clinic or a hospital. And it's a procedure in which we freeze the nerves in the front part of the knee where most of the knee pain is generated. And um, I'll tell you a short story. My first patient that we did this to, I wanted to see how it might help the perioperative pain from knee replacement. And I didn't tell anyone else I was doing it. So I did this procedure before the knee replacement. And about an hour and a half after surgery, the head nurse called me and said, what did you do to this guy? And I said, well, what's wrong? And he said, nothing. He's fine. Like he didn't have the operation. And I, and I had never heard of that before. And I had to go back and see it for myself. And he was functioning like he didn't have a knee replacement, like he was fine. And um, so I've used it on every knee replacement patient of mine since. Oh. Well, where can we get more information on this? Uh, best place is iovera.com. And your viewers should know that knee pain from osteoarthritis can be debilitating. And especially knee pain after surgical intervention can be terrible. And it just doesn't have to be anymore. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for telling us about it today. My pleasure. And if you'd like to see this segment again, just head to our website at firstcoastliving.net.